Hi, this is Rick from Rick's Daily Tips Tech Blog. By default, Windows 11 acts like a huge vacuum cleaner, following you around every corner of your PC and the internet, sucking up every bit of user data it can find on you. But instead of placing all that sensitive data in a bag, it sends it back to Microsoft, who ends up using all of your data to show you personalized ads. Even worse, some of the data they collect on you and your activities is shared with a number of third parties who also use your data pretty much as they see fit. In short, Windows 11 is spying on you every second that you're using your computer and accessing the internet. The good news is you can stop the vast majority of this spying activity by changing some privacy settings. There are a bunch of these settings, but luckily they're mostly found in one location in the settings app. But before we get to the settings changes, it's a good idea to review some of the data that Microsoft has already collected about you and delete that stored info. That's done via an online tool called the Microsoft Privacy Dashboard, and it's very easy to use. Open a web browser and type privacy.microsoft.com into the address bar, like that right there. And that's what you should see in your web browser this right here. Now scroll down click the visit the privacy dashboard link. Now if you're not signed into your, to your uh, Microsoft account already you'll be prompted to sign into the Microsoft account that you use to sign into your user account on your Windows PC. I was already signed in that's why I didn't have to do it here. Now the first thing you're going to see pretty much is this get started button. You can pretty much ignore that for now because all that is is it takes you through a bunch of settings that you can change to ensure that your online security is pretty strong. Thing is we're going to be going through most of those things in at a later time one by one through the settings app. So you can ignore that. Now here's a list of things that uh, list of different data types that Microsoft has stored on you. We'll start with location activity. You'll see that they have stored no location data on me because I keep my location at my location setting turned off. If yours was turned on, you'd see a list of lo your location things, and then you'd have a link to delete it. Browsing history. I do have a little bit of browsing history. One, just one website. And uh, you'll probably have a long list. It'll show five or six items with a link to click to see more. We're going to click Clear All Browsing Activity. And click Clear Again to confirm. And click Don't Turn On. Same thing with Search History. You'll see that I have none because I keep mine turned off. However, on yours, you'll probably have a list of search items that you that you search for. You can click that clear to clear button or clear link to clear all that out. Same thing with app and service activity. You'll see there are a couple of here. I'm just going to go ahead and clear all app. Click clear all app and service activity. Click clear. Don't turn on. Media activity. Same thing. No data but I could clear it if, then, if it was existing there. App and Service Performance Data. I'm going to go ahead and click this Clear App and Service Performance Data button. Click Clear. And that pretty much takes care of the Privacy Dashboard. Everything below here you can just go ahead and ignore for now because we're going to go to the Settings app. Right click on the Start button click settings and select privacy and security in the left hand pane. What we're going to be concentrating on here are the Windows permissions and the app permissions. We'll start with the general field. Everything on here is uh, something that you don't need but it's collecting information sending it back to Microsoft. So we're going to turn all those off Now click the back button to go back to the main menu. 
Next up is speech. This online speech recognition is not really important as far from a privacy standpoint. You can leave it enabled if you don't, if you want to. However, it does interact with Microsoft servers, and my general rule is if something interacts with Microsoft servers and I don't need for it to, and I don't need to use that feature, I'm going to turn it off. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now click the back button. Inking and typing personalization. This basically allows you to save words of your own, save words that you want to put into your custom dictionary. Um, again, I don't use that, so I'm going to turn it off. Whether if you want to be able to save a bunch of words in your own custom dictionary, you can leave it enabled. But again, it's interacting with Microsoft servers, so I would I would turn it off if I were you, unless you really want to use it. Diagnostics and feedback. This is a big one. Pretty much everything on this page is collecting data about everything that you do and sending it back to Microsoft. Now, in a way that's good because uh, if there are errors or anything like that that Microsoft needs to be aware of so they can make changes to their, to their code or any of their services, that does help. But again, everything that's sent here is it, it's pretty invasive and I don't want that stuff being sent back. So I'm going to toggle it off. And you know that takes care of everything down here in one fell swoop. Now this feedback frequency, I have mine set to never, and that's what I recommend that you set yours to, for, is never. Click the back button. Go to activity history. This basically keeps a log of everything that you do on your computer, and it keeps it on your computer, but even though it's on your computer, Microsoft does have it does have ways to access that information. So I'm going to turn it off, and I'm going to go ahead and clear the history that's already stored. Click the back button. Go down to search permissions. <coughs> Excuse me. This safe search set it, uh, setting is uh, pretty much up to you, however you want to set it. That really doesn't affect your privacy from uh, in, the, in the context that we're discussing here about Microsoft keeping your information. Um, you can just read this and make your own choice about how you want to keep your set. I keep mine set on moderate because if you set it on strict, it filters out some, Im some important stuff that I really need to see. Now everything below here is things that I don't need, things I don't use, and again, if it interacts with Microsoft servers, I'm going to disable it. So I'm going to turn all this off. And I'm going to click this Clear Device Search History button. Toggle this one off. And you'll see that the only thing left on that screen that's enabled is my Safe Search setting. You can't really disable that. Um, that's, that again, that has nothing to do with privacy um, with Microsoft. That's strictly you and your search settings. Click this back button. This searching Windows you can ignore because that's basically just uh, exam it just tells Windows which folders and such on your on your local machine to search. It has really nothing to do with, with uh, privacy in relation to Microsoft. Now we'll go to the app permissions. Location. This is a big one. In, in my mind, I don't use any any active any uh, apps or devices that need to know my location, so I keep it turned off. However, if you do use an app or or something that needs to know your location, you can leave this main toggle turned on, and then let app let apps access your location. Leave that turned on, and then you can go down here through each one of these and adjust those as you need to. But again, I'm going to turn mine off because uh, I don't want my location being stored at all. Click the back button. Now we get into uh, some devices. Camera. I don't use a camera for anything, so I leave mine off. And that turn, when you turn off the main setting, that turns everything else off. Now if you use a camera, say for Zoom or 
or FaceTime or something like that, then you'll want to leave that turned on. Or you can do what I do what I do with microphone. You can turn it off and then come back in and turn it on just when you're going to use it, when you need to use the camera. And then when you're done, you can go turn it off again. But again, I'm going to leave mine off because I never use the camera for anything. Click the back button. Same thing with a microphone. Now, I do use the microphone. I'm using it right now to make this video. But when I'm not using it, I'll go ahead and toggle this off because that's the only thing I use my microphone for. I'm not going to turn it off here because then I wouldn't be able to finish my video. I'm going to click the back button. And then you can just go right down the line here, open up each one of these, and if you if you need to have it, you need to use it, you can leave it enabled, otherwise you can disable, disable it. And that pretty much takes care of all those privacy settings. Um, once you make these changes, most of the information that Microsoft collects on you and, and uh, is retrieved by their servers is turned off. If you found this tip useful, Please hit like and subscribe if you'd like to help me spread the word. Thanks a bunch.